Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome everybody to the Red Room Podcast. I am your boy, Jackson, and you already know, free nuke until nuke is free. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. So we are back. Thank you for tuning in to part two of Farrakhan's message. I appreciate it. Make sure you go check out part one. You have to check out part one in order to be here right now, okay? Listen. We are in the 2149-ish mark of Farrakhan's message, all right? So make sure you tune in, and boom, let's get it started, y'all. This is the Red Room. said that America was made a place of refuge, not for all the people, but for some of the people. All right? So, he's, he's, just, he's just jumping right, he's just giving it to you plain and simple about what's going on, who has the power, how evil these people are, and, and pretty much keeping you woke and aware. So you have to listen to this Farrakhan message. I don't know what else you're doing, Tap into the Favicon message. Come back to the Red Room. Let's talk about it. I don't know what everybody else is talking about, but we are talking about the message. That is the bigger deal. We're not dealing with the propaganda. We're dealing with the real. Welcome to the Red Room, y'all. I'm your boy, Jack, so yours truly. And we always say free nuke. Y'all know that already. Let's tune back in. This is the message. Said this country was never made with a woman in mind. This country was never made with a woman in mind to be in power. Never, never. He said that's why that's why it took them years to get the even just the right to vote. You know what I'm saying? He's um, Minister Favicon right now is just elaborating on this country and this whole America, United States, all of this. Stay woke, y'all. Stay woke. We had 2237 of the Farrakhan message from the garden, y'all. This is a message from the prophet himself, y'all. Let's talk about it. Country wasn't made for the slaves. We was only three-fifths of a human. country wasn't made for poor people neither. This country was made for white people of privilege, white people of scholarships, and wealth. I guess that I guess that's what he's really trying to say, man. This country wasn't made for us. But he's going to keep going. He's not going to end it there. Superior. Mm -hmm. White people who felt like they superior over us. Mm. Keep going, Farrakhan. No lesser being deserves that privilege. How did we become lesser beings? It's true. Hold up. 
Situate your situation. It's about that time to make sure you get into your bag, do whatever you do to get into your comfort zone. It's that time. So situate your situation. This is the Reverend Podcast. The Minister Farrakhan is talking live to you from the garden. Tap in. Stay woke and aware. And let's manifest these things. Build on them. Pardon me that you can't hear it because I can't play it. But you can play it at your house, and let's break it down together. And if I'm saying something that's bull crap, hit me in the chat and hit me in the comment and let me know about it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm here for you. I'm not. This, I'm not bringing y'all no other propaganda. I feel like this Farrakhan message is a big deal, and I don't want it to be slept on. I think we should talk about it. So here at the Red Room, let's talk about it. Tap in, y'all. This is the Red Room Podcast. Mm. He's talking about how he, got, how he went into the Quran and found something new. Allah decided to place a ruler in the earth. And the angels questioned them. Angels questioned them, like, what are you going to do instead of just shed blood? Why is God said, I know what you know not? Hmm. So a world came into being a world opposite of the way and the life and the will of God's um, way. It was permitted by God to, for this world to be um, created. It was only permitted to exist, though, for a short time. It wasn't. This world wasn't permitted to exist forever. Said Allah created a man with his bare hands. Keep going. Allah created a man with his bare hands. Mm. The 90th birth of the nation anniversary. This is the 90th year that the nation of Islam has been upon us. So that is a big deal in itself. I didn't even know that. Let's stay woke. Shout out to that. Let's stay woke. The 90th anniversary of the nation of Islam. July 4th. Yeah. Mm. Speaking on discrimination. Definition of a standard, a criteria in which God measures. Farrakhan is not braggadocious and he's not arrogant.
Keep going. Humbly. Look. Accept it and not be bowled over by it. Humbled. Yes, sir. He said he was sent here to set down the leaders of this world and let Satan know He letting, he letting Satan know that it's a prophet on the earth. It's a prophet amongst us. Mm. Mm. Said the angels fall down. Yeah, they did fall down. But there's always a group that thinks they're better. There's always a group that thinks they're better. And so we're living in the time and the day and age to where people start formulating and trying to do their own. They're trying to do their own little thing. But it's nothing bigger than the most high. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he sees he sees it all. You know what I mean? So, have faith. I don't know what religion you, you're into, but have faith in something and believe in it, man. Faith is big, man. Keep faith. Stay humble. said you may not believe it that God may have a man grow up right amongst you that will be the master of the prophets this is the minister y'all this is the minister Louis Favacon and he has brought us a message from the garden this is the master prophet himself are we woke are we aware of what's going on? See, don't let the fireworks and foolery and the smoke screens shield your, your vision of what, what the hell is really going on. This is the reverend for real. Let's keep on going. You might not want to believe that the master of a prophet, <laughs> oh, he's here. No prophet can even be considered a prophet unless that of which he prophesies is fulfilled. So you can't even be called a prophet unless you really prophesy something and it came to terms. Keep going. Mm. Mm. He's here. He's here. He would be like David. Go ahead. He played well on the instrument. But he was powerfully spiritual. Mm. Mm. 
He said Elijah Muhammad invited him to his house after he had acted in a play that he had written called Organa, which is Negro backwards. Okay? Stay woke. So, um, Elijah Muhammad invites Louis Favicon to his crib after a play that he did. Right? In the play, He acted, he sang, he danced, he played music, instruments. He said when when he said when he sent for you, you either did something right or you were in deep trouble. It's a lot of He met up with Muhammad. He said, brother, I've seen your performance. He said, you're good at what you do. He said, but your greatest gift is in the spiritual. He said, would you give all of that up for me? Favicon said, yes, sir. Quick. He said that immediately. He said it again. He said, you mean you give up all that stuff for me? For me? Falcon said, yes, sir. And from that moment, That was the ending of his musical journey and the beginning of his spiritual journey, which made him the man that he is today. That's deep, man. That's deep. When you write, you write a play, you did everything, you acted, you directed, you put so much energy into this thing. That means you really cared about it. You truly wanted it to be successful. And then somebody tells you, well, but you put all that aside and come ride with what I got going on, would you do that? Would you drop everything that you invested your time, your patience, your money, your energy into, and just drop it for something that someone else believes in, and, and then and, and adapt that passion? Could you do that? That's what Favicon did, man, he, he committed all of his energy, his time, his efforts, his dedication to his practice, man, to his religion, to Allah, to his mentor, Elijah Muhammad. That's big, man. That's that takes a big that takes a big soul to do that, man. Not everybody could do that. Let's keep going on. Let's keep going, man. He's here. This is a message from the garden, y'all. Thomas Jefferson wrote beautiful, beautiful words, but his heart wasn't there to fulfill it. He said, all men are created equal. You can't, you can't say that. You can't say all of that. And hold another nation enslaved, contradicting yourself. What people are you talking about? Mm. So the dog whistle in America and President Trump's cry, make America great again, really means make America white again. That's why the white nationalists 
and those of that mindset are gravitating to what he's saying because he's stirring up the pot. But the bigger the bigger question what we got to answer is are you a hypocrite? Come on, America, are you a hypocrite because if you didn't mean for everybody, the black, the brown and the red and even the poor white to enjoy the the full rights of citizenship, then why call us what we are not? Makes no sense. So now we got to call the president out. You got to come. We got to come to the forefront. Yeah, don't come to us with the foolery. You can't pacify us with a smooth, crooked tongue. We know you. We've lived with you for 465 years. So either you mean what you say, or our covenant with death will be annulled in our agreement with hell. Shall be destroyed. So it's deep, man. I'm trying to give you I'm trying to give you as much as I can, man. Farrakhan's talking, y'all. Let's stay woke. We had 3536, 3536, and enter the message. Move on the will of God. That's how we should do it. Welcome to the Red Room, y'all. I'm your boy, Jack, so yours truly, man. We listening to Farrakhan's message, the recap. Let's break it down. Let's talk about it, huh? Free nuke until nuke is free. Y'all know how this thing go. Yes, sir. We here. Yes, sir. He said, I walked to the podium on a white carpet. He said, I refuse to walk on red. Because all you world leaders, you got your power from shedding the blood of those that may have been in opposition to you. Favicon said, I come on a white carpet. Because in the 65 years of my being a student of the Elijah Muhammad, I have never, ever shed the blood of another human being to get where I'm at. Huh? Are we woke? Walking on no red carpet. Y'all, that's because of all the sacrifices y'all made to get there. Blood sacrifices. Y'all made to get to where y'all at. I'm walking on a white. Huh? Mm. You took an oath. You took an oath. So you could call me all these names, but you can't prove it. Because I represent a God that came with the power to save. Mm. Powerful. We ain't even start yet. We did not even start yet. Ladies and gentlemen, oh yeah. Now we're going to get into the coronavirus. We're going to get into this virus now. Y'all want to talk about the virus? 
We're going to talk about the virus now. Welcome to the Red Room. this virus. I want to give my condolences to the families and all of the loved people that lost somebody due to this coronavirus, man. Um, my condolences. Um, do not take the vaccine. Do not take the vaccine. Yo, listen, man. This is the Red Room Podcast. This is Farrakhan's message. Part two. Tune in to part three, baby. We're talking about the virus. We are going. It's happening, y'all. Let's stay woke. Let's stay aware. Tap back in. Part three. Farrakhan's message. Y'all already know, man. Like, comment, subscribe. This the Red Room, y'all.